what's up everyone today we're going to be checking out this spirit halloween that took over the nike unite here in fort collins colorado uh, this nike closed a little while back so it's a little bit different so let's go ahead and go in shall we all right so we'll be starting right here i believe it's right here where we are at at number one so let's go ahead and take a look that's straight up ahead figured we'd start over here with the directory it's right down there. I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro. I know it's been quite a while since I've done some content outside of Cheyenne. I know some of you have been a little, a few of you have been a little upset about that. I do apologize. But hey, at least we're finally getting back out there. All right, here we are. It's pretty subtle. I do. I think that is one thing I like about these little plazas. They're kind of subtle and they kind of have that little bit of downtown feel to them. That's probably the one thing I do like about them. But, all right, let's go ahead and go in. So there's this sign. This sign was at the Cheyenne store as well. There's a little grasshopper. I know you probably can't see it. Here's their hours. Go ahead and go in. Oh, wow. Hi, how are you doing? Mm. There we go. That's Ghostface, and we got Ringmaster. Come on. There we go. Come on, come on. Everyone is welcome. However, no entrance is free. <laughs> I can see something on his chest there. That's that's kind of creepy. That reminds me of like Robocop. It's a carnival. This is definitely a fuller thing. What will I get this time? Is that it? Yeah. All right, there. I don't know what that one means. I'll be honest. They have some pumpkins, stacked pumpkins, I should say. They have this big guy that, I don't know if we caught a button for him. Giant Death Ray. This is interesting. This one we got the Dark Princess. Okay, I didn't expect that one. I didn't expect it. This looks like, is this what I think it is? It is. It is. <laughs> That's funny. Towering Talua, Talula, Talula. Who do we have here? Your curiosity and trespassing has cost you your mortality. Fear not, for you will have eternal existence. Spellbound. I was kind of expecting this one to jump up. It sounds like it's trying to jump up and it can't. I'm pretty sure it's meant to jump up. That's all right, can't always have them win. This, I don't even understand. This is different. Oh, it's this thing. OK, 
Okay, so that's the Art Clown. I've never seen them use this specific module before for activating the stuff. So this one we got the Cremator. Step into the shadows with me, water. Where the boundary between life and death blurs, and the night holds its breath for you. <laughs> Okay. Let's see, we didn't do this guy. This is the Max Straw. What's the Max Straw idea? Is it hooked up? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I, get, I guess I didn't step on it right. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> There you go, guys. That's the Max Straw one. They have some of the lights here, looks like. With some displays of them. We got Wandra Webworth for an animatronic. Oh. I accidentally unactivated it. Uh-oh, now it's got me. <laughs> I wish the camera was angled the right way to see that. I like the spider, though. Got Cotton Candy Dan. Never seen these guys. Sometimes it's sweet, sometimes it's not. Whoa. I did not see that coming. It'll do more than rot your teeth out. <laughs> Fun House of Terror. This is definitely better than the Cheyenne store. God, that is... That's jank. Definitely reminds me of those mirror, museum, or mirror maze things. Kind of doing the fan thing like they did before, it looks like. Let's see, what's this one deal? Nibbles the Clown. <laughs> Alright. Cool. I see you. <laughs> That's creepy. It moves. It moves with you. That is creepy. That is actually really creepy. Look at that. That is weird, man. For a while now. I hope you don't mind. I like the way you walk. I can't help but follow you around with my gaze. You have a certain bounce in your step. It's just so enticing. Mind if I follow you around for a bit longer? Well, well. That's creepy, man. That is really creepy. God. <laughs> I have never seen something like that before for an animatronic. Let's see, I gotta figure out this score. It's a little bit tight. This looks like over here they have some adult costumes, as well as here. It's like over here they got the blow up ones. God, that is really, really creepy how it follows you. I've never seen an animatronic that does that. Ah, uh, all right. So we got some of the Cheeto stuff, of course. Always got to have some of the spirit stuff. Uh, I've kind of already gone through a lot of this at the Cheyenne store, so I don't think there's much point in duplicating that. Don't really need to go too crazy over that. Got medieval stuff back here. It's that cop outfits over here. Yes, there is something different that I have not seen before. And they actually include chalk and everything. That is actually really, really, really cool in my opinion. That's really, really cool. I kind of want that. Just curious, how much does that go for? $14.99? That might be worth it. That might be. It, 
I can't tell if this outer edge is metal or not, but I don't know. It's more of a prop, so maybe it maybe it's a debate there. But yeah, plenty of cop stuff. They actually got a whistle? What? It looks like it might be a working one. That's interesting. They got chains. These feel like metal, probably not gold, but probably metal for sure. Um, got the big scissors, of course. All right, so we still got more animatronics over here. Barnaby the bear, I apologize, we're jumping around a little. All right, we got a jumping spider. I will light your way in God. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. So we got Victor and Emily, and it looks like Emily might be on a buttons pusher. I do. You may kiss the bride. That's an interesting one. Looks like they do have some of the posters. I've been told those are supposed to be a buck each, but I don't know if that's the case here. Hey, hey, hey everyone. Bobby Strings. Let me sing it for you. Oh, I know a naughty child. What? Very bad. He ate up all my candy and made me real mad. So when I get free, I'm gonna fix him good. He's gonna bump heads with his block of wood. <laughs> Let that be a lesson, kids. Don't be a blockhead. All right, that was a different one as well. So yeah, this is the Fun House of Terror. This is the first time I've seen a full ISE. The first time this year. So looks like we got accessories over here mainly. Got some fake blood. Home decor over here. Got masks as well. God, that's a creepy one. I do kind of like the neon looking masks like that. They're kind of nifty in a way. Of course, gotta have Beetlejuice stuff. They actually got the crown here this time. I saw this sign in the Cheyenne store, but I don't think I saw these neon ones. Got some of the mats as well. And it looks like they got kids' costumes over here. This is more separated. I didn't expect that. This is more separated. I am curious about the tombs, though. So let's take a look at that. The tombstones. Oop, excuse me. There we go. So they do have tombstones over here. It's definitely a snug store tight but they made it work and they do have fortnite stuff of course gotta love that and the oh, huggy wuggy god <laughs> i have mixed thoughts about that but that's all right they have some more lighting lighting stuff here too and of course they got all the toddler stuff over there that i don't think we need to spend much time on I don't know how much stuff there will be up here in the front. It's different from the other store. Not too much different. I didn't see these when I initially came in. They do have lots of different shirts this year. They have a Chucky one. That's wild. That is wild. Uh, this one I was looking at. That is a different one. That's really different. 
So a clown, but the spirit logo. So yeah, there's definitely some different ones this year. And they also got Harry Potter stuff too. And some Ghostbusters over there. I think the last time I visited the Fort Collins, you guys were in the Pier 1. Yep, I think yeah, that's right. And then they had to split it up a little bit. I can say hello to myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So there you go. That's a different... Different location, definitely tight, but they made it work and they got a full ISC. That's the first time I've seen all the, kind of a more full picture of the ISC. I'm curious to see if the Macy's has a different ISC, has different stuff on the ISC, I should say, different animatronics. And I am curious to go inside of there. So uh, hopefully that's out that way. Hopefully today I will be trying to film that, but I think that's gonna wrap it up for me here at the Spirit Halloween. So I guess I need to do a quick Thank you to my members, don't I? I do want to give a quick shout out to my channel members, which should be listed over here. Yeah, probably over, over here. Um, until next time, though, peace out.